the application of fundamental concepts in data centers understand the trade off in power efficiency and cost in the service model we are going to discuss three main services that is infrastructure as a service then platform as a service then software as a service business and consumer application means for every business it is a very much basic data to have their customer list and customer information hello everyone myself indu faculty of computer science department with dashram first grade college temple of excellence mysore today we are going to discuss the introduction part of cloud computing which is in a syllabus for fifth semester pca okay first and foremost thing we have to discuss why they have included this cloud computing in the syllabus because nowadays whichever the application you take that will be one or the other way connected to the cloud computing if you are a user of google gmail google photos zomato or any of the netflix movie applications so if you are doing it you are the cloud user you may be uh, wondering how we don't know what is cloud only how we became the cloud user right so these all technologies what i just mentioned is using cloud computing architecture it is cloud applications we can say so nowadays technology has been improving so much as on a computer science students you must know how the technology is improving and what technology we are using and what technology we are working it on so this subject has been introduced to your syllabus once you finish your academics then you must be aware of future technologies so they have included cloud computing in this session what we are going to discuss is just an introduction that is what we are agenda of the session is we are going to discuss the syllabus we are going to discuss the learning outcome after studying this particular syllabus of cloud computing what are you are going to get what all the knowledge you are going to get that is comes with the learning outcome and how many units we have in this particular subject and how the internal marks and the external marks will be distributed that's we are going to discuss in today's session so coming into the syllabus what is syllabus cloud computing syllabus is divided into five units in the first unit what we are dealing with introduction in the second unit cloud computing architecture or the third unit cloud applications programming and then the anika platform we will discuss what it is in exactly while discussing units one by one in unit 4 we will having cloud platform in the industry what all the cloud platforms available currently in the industry and cloud application where all we are using the cloud application that's we are going to discuss in unit 5 next learning outcome after studying this syllabus what is you are going to get or what is you are going to learn is first thing to explain the core concept of cloud computing paradigm and how cloud we have arrived from one big mainframe computer to the cloud computer that is nothing but cloud computing paradigm how we have arrived from generation to generation that is we are going to learn and then what are the characteristics of using cloud computing advantage disadvantage challenges what we come when we are dealing with the cloud computing that the knowledge you are going to get it then the application of fundamental concepts in data centers understand the trade off in power efficiency and cost how we can reduce the cost while we are using the cloud computing that you are going to understand and then identify the resource management fundamentals like how we can manage the resources we have a limited resources how we can manage for multiple users that you are going to learn with respect to the cloud computing then analyze the various cloud pro programming modules and apply those modules in problem solving that is what they are, you are going to learn out of this syllabus let's see the syllabus by unit wise what we are discussing or what we are going to understand from each of the unit so first unit as i told you is just an introduction of cloud computing in that introduction we are dealing with different computing paradigm 
paradigm is nothing but level of computing initially what level of computing we had now what level computing we are there is a large way to come from initial mainframe computer to today's cloud computer first we come across with the mainframe parallel computing distributed computing uh, grid computing like that we have different paradigm we going to study all this paradigm or computing about this computing one by one so that's what they have mentioned parallel computing distributed computing cluster computing and grid computing after that the cloud computing arises what is the basic for cloud computing what is the basic for cloud computing sharing how do we share the resources that is a basic for cloud computing then history how cloud computing came into the picture who started the cloud computing first and now where we are with in the cloud computing that is a history then characteristic features you what all the features of cloud computing what all the advantage of using the cloud computing and disadvantages of using the cloud computing then overview of applications where all we are using the cloud computing that we are going to learn in the introduction unit that is unit 1 next in the unit 2 what we have is architecture we are going in deep now just in the introduction we have just seen the overview of you can say the abstract now we are going into the deep what is the architecture of cloud computing architecture of cloud computing is mainly classified into two models one is cloud service model and one is cloud deployment model how we are categorizing the cloud architecture using mainly two models one is service model and deployment model service model is what how the service is provided to the customer or how the service is provided to the user that is nothing but the service model and when it comes to the deployment model how the services are deployed into the cloud how they have put it on the cloud that is nothing but deployment model in the service model we are going to discuss three main services that is infrastructure as a service then platform as a service then software as a service in deployment model we are uh, discussing the type of cloud how many types of clouds are available so in that we are using uh, discussing about the public cloud private cloud hybrid cloud and community cloud we'll see the difference in detail when we are discussing with the module 2 in further coming sessions and then layered architecture of cloud since we are dividing architecture into two modules there are different layers of architecture so we are going to study the layer architecture of cloud computing then virtualization virtualization is nothing but creating the virtual machine when we are sharing the resources we cannot share the physical resources directly with number of people so what they are doing they are creating one the virtual machines using those virtual machines you are giving the resources to the user or you are sharing the resources with the users so that is nothing but virtualization the process of creating the virtual machine is called virtualization okay what is virtualization definition features of virtualization how many types of virtualizations are there and uh, there are different types of virtualization one is hardware server application and storage virtualization importantly we are going to discuss all this in the module 2 then uh, pros and cons of virtualization what are the advantage of using virtual machines and what are the disadvantages of having virtual machine that we discuss in the unit 2 next in the unit 3 we are discussing mainly one platform called anika okay this is one cloud application platform we are going to discuss in detail how this platform is created okay what are the framework we have used to create that particular application that aneka platform and then anatomy of aneka container container is nothing but that carries the information from one place to the other place that what we call it as container how aneka container is created then how the infrastructure is organized logical organization and what all the uh, private cloud what all the services it is providing in the private cloud and in the public cloud 
and hybrid cloud that we are going to discuss specially in module 3 we are going to discuss only about anika platform that is an a cloud service platform so uh, it also provides the programming and management uh, services also in programming services we will discuss sdk sdk nothing but software development kit software development toolkit we can also say so there we are using the application model and service model when it comes to the management we are taking care of infrastructure platform and the application management this all we are going to study in unit 3 then in unit 4 what we have is cloud platform in the industry what are the cloud different cloud platform running today in the world that is what nothing but in the industry so as uh, all of you know you might have heard there there will be many advertisement about aws and microsoft azure these are the biggest cloud platform which are running today and they have a market share of 32 percent overall compared to the other application uh, platforms other cloud application platform so we are going to study mainly about the amazon web services who is this amazon web services these are the cloud service provider whichever the service the user wants as an user or, or as an entrepreneur if you want some services to be shared that will be provided by Amazon Web Services. So what are the services that provided by the Amazon Web Services? They provide computational service, storage service, communication service and also the additional service like this Google App Engine. What is Google App Engine means? You can develop your own app using this Google App Engine. Okay, that's why it is called as App Engine. It is additional service. It comes under additional services. Then architecture and core concept of this Amazon Web Service, we call it as AWS, right? You might have seen many advertisement of AWS. Okay, then application and life cycle, how much cost we need to create one particular cloud. So all these things we are going to study about the Amazon Web Service and one more uh, platform that running in the industry is Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure is one more cloud service provider who will provide all these services and we are going to discuss like all these services, computer, storage and communication and we are going to discuss the infrastructure of web services as well as the in infrastructure of Microsoft Azure services. So this all we are going to study in the unit 4. So next comes with the unit 5. What you are going to discuss in the unit 5 is cloud application. So far we have discussed what is cloud, what is introduction about cloud, architecture of cloud, particularly for Aneka platform and then we have discussed the current uh, trending platforms in the industry. Now after studying all this where we are applying it, that is also very important, right? So. This is comes the application where we are using this cloud architecture or cloud computing services. So we are using that in the scientific application. What you mean by scientific application? We are using it in the healthcare. For example, you can take nowadays all the reports is not in the hard copy. Everything will be shared in the soft copy. If you are going for the scanning, scanning will be done, report will be generated, that will be not hand over to the patient, that will be directly sent to the doctor, right? So that is who is doing that? With the help of cloud services, they are doing it, okay? So that is in scientific application that comes under the uh, example is healthcare, they like ECG reports, scanning reports, x-ray reports will all be directly sent to the doctor. Then application in biology. What is biology? In biology, how we can apply the cloud? We don't know, right? We can apply the cloud in biology for predicting the genes. Genes of a person, genes of an animal or genes of an any crop. For predicting that, we are using the uh, cloud computing in biology. Then we can use that cloud computing in Geoscience. Geoscience means what? We are getting the satellite photos. In that satellite photos, they are discovering 
what would be there in that particular geographical area right they are predicting they they are predicting depending on some features of that particular geographical area so that is nothing but geo science then that can be cloud computing is widely used in the business and consumer application business and consumer application means for every business it is a very much basic data to have their customer list and customer information depending on that customer list and the information they can pitch their product to, to the customer if they are launching any new product they can uh, pitch that directly to their existing customer building a new customer database is quite difficult than having the existing customer database so to make use of existing customer should retain with the same entrepreneur they are making use of business and application consumer applications by with the help of cloud then these are all some of the example that has been used currently in the business and consumer applications and it will also increase the productivity of the uh, entrepreneur or the business persons and we are using it in the social networking social networking obviously you all know i need not to explain much for the social networking like it may be for fb facebook tweet insta like that all these are using the cloud application why we are using the social uh, networking to communicate with each other to share the information or to share the knowledge which each other they are using the cloud applications and media applications media application that is also you are very well aware of this amazon prime netflix z5 these are all the media application in only one platform you are going to get all sorts of your entertainment or all sorts of news there also they are using the cloud application so these are all some of the concepts that you are going to study in detail we'll discuss everything in detail in further upcoming sessions okay then coming into the marks distribution of this particular subjects there will be 100 marks per subject out of that 40 marks will be for internals and 60 marks will be for externals the internals will be conducted for 30 marks out of 30 marks for first internals will be covering the topics unit 1 and unit 2 so that will give you the 30 marks and for the second internal will be covering the topics from unit 3 and unit 4 okay this will be unit 3 and unit 4 together constitute the 30 marks for the internals and single unit 5 will constitute for third internals the marks how will be take average of three internals will be taken as final marks then for 60 marks final question paper for that is a semester end exam will be for 60 marks and the marks distribution for 60 marks will be having two parts in two parts part a carries 45 marks and part b carries 45 marks all the five questions you will be having you need to answer for 45 marks in part a here also part b all five from five units you will be having five questions you should answer all the five question for 15 marks is it clear hope all of you clear with the concept what cloud computing is why they have included the cloud computing in the syllabus then what we are what we are going to get out of this syllabus what we are going to study out of this syllabus and a detailed uh, descriptions of each unit what we are going to study in each particular unit that all we have discussed so far these are some of the books for the reference purpose the book from mastering cloud computing from rajkumar and then the cloud computing biz from berry these are some of the books you are supposed to read to understand much about cloud computing hope i am clear with the concept thank you